Fruity first. Uh, obviously, JB dropped that ball on the weekend. Not acceptable. No, nah, it's disappointing. I mean, uh, look, can take a chest mark by the looks of things, but anything in the hands looks very dodgy. Croc, you sent him a text message and said, get in here and do some extras. Oh, well, you know, if you're going to put yourself in the slot and sit right behind the goals, you know, basically with every bit of clothing you could find, right, on, you're surely going to have to take the grabs when they come your way. JB, the boys have got you down here. Uh, you must be nervous about it. Mate, one mark, right? One mark in my whole life and I've been summoned to do extras. I've juked them at training, in the games, at airports, never put one down, and then suddenly I drop one mark, and it's fluky wind at Blunston. <laughs> so it was wobbling as it came through, and all right, it didn't stay in too well. Suddenly, I get an email and a text from Darren Crocker, a man who's been a good friend of mine for 20 years, saying, we've been through the tape, you need to turn up on Monday for extras. <laughs> Mate, is this about restoring pride for you? No, I'm about to put on a marking display. <laughs> There's something decent, Pierre, that I can work towards. That's all I need from you, nothing up high here. Just standard here. There's something decent that I can work to, nothing stupid and high. That's it. Look at that crop. Watch out. There you are. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Have a look how well I'm moving to the ball now. Oh, just look yeah. here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to be a drop then. <laughs> Take that? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I only want the good stuff. One more. One more. Righto. Starting to lip up a bit. Get up there. Oh! Where do you want them? Oh. <laughs> what am I? You sound like you're getting there too early. I think I am. Jazz is not standing in the right Now spot. I think he's just uh, having a bit of fun, just trying to uh, tip me over. Ah! Oh, the croc's got to get in the right spot. Blaming, mate. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to jump higher from your... Get up high. <laughs> no, I'm not timing it at all, Des. No. Oh, that's what I'm... That one looked a bit, felt a bit better. Oh! A oh, croc doesn't know what he's doing with that thing. Running under the footy. Watch the ball, watch the ball around the bag. What's the ball? All right then, Pierre. Get oh, up that's there. nice. That's... Oh. <laughs> Is he in the right spot? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, how do you think he went? Well, look, I couldn't kick him in any better positions than those. And, um, you know, duck and horse over the years just plucked mark after mark after mark. So, um, how'd he go? Not well. Croc, what do you think? Well, I think it's going to have to be a weekly occurrence. You know, getting him down for those extras, he's got a lot, a lot of work to do with his uh, marking. Not bad in the open spaces, right? But, gee, once you threw a bit of uh, marking bag in, bit of competition, bit of timing, all over the shop. Mate, he's blaming you for it. Oh, no. Come on, please, give me a spell. I think we're getting a really good indication as to how good a footballer Wayne Carey was. A, he had to hit up to that rubbish, and then B, he had Croc getting out of the way rather than manfully standing under it so the great man could go clunk, which I did repeatedly when they got it right. That only happened twice. Don't know whether I was actually very good at all. <laughs> <laughs>